same spirits that want to communicate with us. Turn that light. <gasps> Yo. It, oh, look. <gasps> oh, wow. Oh. Yo, I've, I've never. <gasps> oh. Oh my god! What is up fam? Welcome to another haunted adventure with your boy Omar. Today I am at the Wilson Castle in Vermont. Huge, huge shout out to the owners, Denise and Andy, for having us here tonight. If you want to visit the Wilson Castle yourself, I have links down below in the description. WilsonCastle.com. They do paranormal investigations here. There's even wedding venues and daily tours. All that money goes back into this place to restore it. Now this castle was built in 1885 by John Johnson. Numerous reported hauntings here. Year, one of which that scares me and I saw for myself a photo that was taken on a daily tour of a man and his son where a woman in a black dress is seen behind him facing the other way. Now I believe this woman was Sarah which was the owner John Johnson's wife which a lot of people have reported seeing her and seeing her very very sad. There's a room upstairs and that's where the picture was taken. We're gonna take you there. Hope you guys are ready for this adventure. Make sure to smash that like button if you haven't already. Let's do this. of the Wilson Castle and you can see this beautiful fireplace there's a lot of beautiful woodwork here what was she saying that the woodwork is from like some some is from Honduras some of the wood is from like Italy now from what I hear there was an Italian artist who was hired in the 1800s to come here while the house was being constructed it took him seven years and they paid him seven cents an hour to paint the ceilings. And you can see there's a lot of beautiful art on the ceilings and he did that on his back. This place is magnificent. And in the windows too, there's Australian opal. Wasn't there a tea set in here? It belonged to Queen Mary. Yeah, this right here, look how beautiful. Look, there's even a thing right there. It was given to Queen Mary on June 10th, 1910. Wow. That's so awesome. What was that? Earlier when we were here, I, I did vlog it. It was hard to hear things, but there was some things that did happen. I was upstairs and Tiffany and I heard a knock at the window. I believe we do have that on camera. And it was in that room where the woman was seen on that in that photo. Wasn't there some other photos where apparitions show up? Um, yeah, I think he said he's gonna send those photos to you so you can use them. Okay, now Tiffany does have another set of eyes for us. We're even gonna split up. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We're not gonna split up. I mean, maybe we'll split up. I don't know, but. This is the, like the parlor. I hear they have had funerals here. I wanna say in the early 1900s. This is, uh, this is the music room right here. You can see there's an organ there, and I've seen some pictures where there was like a, like a piano on that side. So I did confirm that this pipe organ does work. There's a piano right there. And there's a piano right here. These pictures right here too. This is, um, that's Denise, that's the owner. Her grandfather purchased this place in 1940. <gasps> what is that? <laughs> that scared the crap out of me. Oh, I have a story to tell you about this too. There's a story of a woman. It's half true and half, it could be a legend. The reason why it could be 100% true is because this is recorded, like it's recorded in, in documents and it was even on a police report. But there was a woman that came here, supposedly she's seen something so terrifying here and so distressing to her that it sent her to a mental hospital and she ended up like staying there. And I guess a police officer had picked her up 
What was the story on that? Um, I guess she's seen something here that was like so distressing to her that it, she made a police report and it wasn't taken seriously. Right. And she was admitted into a hospital, like an insane asylum. And then what was it? it wasn't until like 20 years later that they they took it more they took it more serious. So yeah, maybe after some other people had seen something and heard something. So Denise, the, the new owner, um, what she grew up in this house, her mother, I believe, grew up in this house, but she has a story. She was somewhere in here and she heard, these are dinner bells in here. Check out this dining room, how beautiful. But there's some dinner bells right here. There was nobody in here. She hears this going. And then after, she heard it twice. Yeah, because she was cleaning and she asked, she was so tired and she said to her mother, because her mother lived here and she said, well, I passed away here and said, she said, mom, I'm so tired. Just give me, give me some strength or something. And, and that happened. That, that played twice and then the music box turned on. Right. What was her mother's name? Bunny. Bunny. Is that right? Yeah, that was, well, that was her, like her nickname. Bunny, if you're here with us, can you ring those, those dinner bells? Can you turn on that music box for us? What is that? Did you just hear like a... It sounded like a scream or something. Bunny, if you're here with us at all, I'm sure your daughter would like to hear from you. All right. They say the second floor is one of the more active floors. Now, there was a story, so sad to say, but Denise witnessed this up on the second floor. Was it her uncle? I don't know, it was just a really good friend, right? Oh, a maintenance man. It's a maintenance man that looked after this place. He died of a heart attack right in front of her, and it was right up here. And they believe that he comes and goes and visits in here. His name was Richard. He does go by Dick and Dickie. And here's another organ. I love all the stained glass. All of that is original too, but supposedly Dickie died right there of a heart attack right in front of Denise. Very heartbreaking. So supposedly the original eight ball, which they have in a glass case over there, was taken from here, borrowed, and anonymously somebody sent it back in the mail and they think the reason why it was sent back was because it came with something tied to it. And one of the things too that have been reported is uh, they'll, like if you take anything from the Wilson Castle, you're gonna be taking something back home with you. Even if it was given to you, uh, for example, like let's say Denise gives me this eight ball as a gift. There's something tied to it. There's been some people that they used to give away bricks, I guess that, were connected to the house as as gifts to people people would pay like five dollars and, and all that money would go back to rehab in the castle of, of course but people would send the bricks back because after they start having weird things happen in their home and there's even notes and stuff i believe in this case right here is that one of the bricks right there maybe not in here but oh, yeah that the ball? that's the eight ball right there and there's a note it says, I'm returning this eight ball to you. It was borrowed. <laughs> if you guys see something or hear anything, please let me know. And we're going there. So this was Bunny's grandmother's room. And this is where Denise used to sleep with her grandmother. So if I'm not mistaken, the black dress is now in there. Oh, okay. Oh, there's the black dress right there. They left mm -hmm. it out. So remember this black dress, okay? Because in this photo that I'm about to show you in a few minutes, it looks just like this black dress, as if the ghost was wearing it, except you can see an apparition tied to it. That was her, if I'm not mistaken, she said it was her grandmother's morning dress, like a dress that she wore during morning. Oh, like she would wear that to funerals. Yeah. Wow. Well, they do have a Facebook page. If you guys wanna see their Facebook, they have Tons of pictures on there. Look at that chandelier. How cool.
cool is that? Now, a lot of the furniture that's seen here at the Wilson Castle is from the 1800s, from when the house was built, which I, that, that's one thing that you don't see of when you go to like a historic, you know, mansion like this, you don't see original furniture there. It's crazy too, because there's really old pictures like in libraries and stuff about the Wilson Castle. And you can see some of that same furniture. It's like it's been kept up really good. And yeah, big shout out to the, you know, to the Wilson family for keeping this place up so, so well over the years. This is a, like a Jack and Jill bathroom. Yeah, this bed is original from what we were told. Is it? Mm -hmm. Already? Mm -hmm. It's blinking. Oh no. Can you just like put that in there? Yeah. It's a brand new battery. You see the safe over here on the wall? Yeah. I thought you were going to tell me a story about it. Oh, I just think it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that old painting of the Wilson Castle. Super cool. I'm like not remembering. What the f was that? Hello? Whoa. <laughs> Something's calling us into the room. Right across the way. You hear it? Okay, so one of the stories that Denise and Andy were telling us, uh, I guess they had somebody that was coming to visit to do a tour because they were interested in having a wedding here which they did did they uh, oh no she said that she couldn't remember if they did or not i guess these people were right outside and they were up here and they hear footsteps downstairs and they were they both of them heard at the same time and they were like oh they must be like getting ready to come in they're downstairs like on the porch or maybe they came in they go downstairs open up the door the front door nobody out there Nobody out there at all. Those are the kind of things that happen here at the Wilson Castle. Just like that sound. I, I wasn't even trying to record. You got it though, right? Because yeah, I'm still recording. Yeah, I was recording. Yeah. Who was that that made that noise? That's the room right there. Mm -hmm. Oh gosh, I got the heebie jeebies. Are you in here? We mean you no harm. I get the chills just looking at this right here. That is the dress. It looks just like it, doesn't it? That right there is not a person there's the man and the little boy and then they 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 swore there was nobody in here with them wow who haunts this room you can show yourself we want to share your story. We want to know why you're so sad. Now, I was asking on my spirit box, maybe the reason why the woman was sad in here is because maybe she was in an abusive relationship. Because one thing that John Johnson, like the original owner, and his wife, Sarah, no one ever seen Sarah. She was always hiding. She was uh, never around. I mean, maybe she was shy, or maybe he just kept her cooped up in a room. Supposedly they did sleep in separate rooms too. So, yeah, I don't know. I think he was on his, was Sarah his third wife? Yeah. His third wife. So maybe he hurt her. I don't know. Did John hurt you? You can come out and say hello.
Isn't this where they see a woman crying from outside? Yeah, I think that's... What are these? Guests? Oh, uh, these are people that have been here. 1962? Oh, look at that. People from all over. From Utah? Wait, no, it's Vermont. Proctor mm -hmm. Vermont. Is that the Emily's Bridge right there? That looks like it, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, the camera just died, huh? Yep. This is another original bed right here. This is where we heard the knock. I was filming with my little GoPro camera in here during the day. There was a lot going on. But we heard a knock from the outside of this window right here. And we heard a noise beforehand too. Can you make that knock happen again? Freaking fireplace in here. Whoa. There's a hole there. <laughs> was that an inside fart? That was my stomach. <laughs> <laughs> that was so funny. I was getting some really good spirit box here. I mean, I know I said that I would do this a little later on, but I, mean, I feel this is the room where there's so many unanswered questions to that woman being seen in here, the woman in the black dress. I'm using a Spirit Box app right now. It's the only one that I trust. If you want to try the Spirit Box for yourself, I have a link at the top of my description. Get a lot of action with it. Is there anybody here that wants to communicate with us? <coughs> Did that just say Sarah? Is this Sarah? Is Sarah here with us? Here. Wait. Wait. <laughs> Was Sarah abused? Ow. <laughs> Dead. Dead. Died. the apparition that was seen in the photo was that real um. Want to communicate? Are you out there, Sarah? It's been a while since I've been like legitimately scared. There's nothing evil here. No one's ever been hurt here at the Wilson Castle. But these hauntings will scare the living. I mean, it scared somebody so much, they went to a mental asylum. There's 
so many mirrors around me, like I can't even look anywhere. Thank you for talking to us. God, I'm scared. Everywhere you look, there's a mirror. You know, mirrors are porter, portals for spirits, they say. Well, you know that that picture that was taken in there was of the boy it was like through the mirror or something. It was through the mirror? Yeah. And then like the little boy was looking in the mirror or something. I don't know. Why don't explain. you take a picture through the mirror? I did today. Oh, you did? Like multiple times. And oh my God, I'm so scared to go in there and do it right now. I don't want to go back in there. <laughs> I took some pictures while I was in there. I just haven't looked at them. All right, this is just like an office. Yeah. So there was a guy, like a, a resident that had decided to stay here in exchange for like maintenance work. And he had told them about, I don't know which couch it was. I believe it was, it was either that one or this one. But they said, he said that it was indented. Like it, he watched it indent, like somebody sat down All right. or something. It's kind of scary because if you look at that one. I know. <laughs> Yo, wait, there's an indention in that one right now. I think the cushion is lifted, maybe? Okay. <laughs> Those ripples look kind of yeah. suspect, though. There's no ripples in the other ones. Oh my god, I thought there was like a little kid sitting down over there. There are rooms everywhere. Wait, I, didn't, I didn't go in here. Even earlier today. There's a fireplace like in every room too. I think they said there's 12 fireplaces. Okay. Now, I don't know if you know this, but there wasn't electricity in the 1800s. So these, you know, light switches that you see, that was added later on. But this house was all like gas. You know, like there was, there's even a gas house on the property. And the reason why they did that is because, you know, if there was ever any uh, problems, you know, that would probably fight, light on fire before the house would. I think that's why. I think there's a sign out there that talks about it. Really? Mm -hmm. Look at that. Oh, I don't want to go there. Look at the picture of a little girl in the corner. Tiffany asked if that was the uh, original Mona Lisa. <laughs> so I was like, it says Da Vinci. And I was like, is that a real Da Vinci? I don't know. Nah. I don't know where. That's in a, in a museum somewhere. That's what I thought, but I mean, this place is. Now, supposedly there was some really expensive art that was stolen from here. In the early 1900s, some burglars came through the basement and they, they took the art right off the walls like they were in, in glass cases and um, they even cut them out. And one of the paintings, I believe it's in a library or something and it's, it's worth like 50 grand, they said. And I feel like some of that art that was originally here should be returned here. You know, even if it was stolen and given to somebody. How do you feel about that? I mean, it belongs to the house, you know? Oh God, I thought it was the woman in the black dress. Oh. Ain't gonna lie. My goodness, good one. Thanks for scaring me, mister. What's your name? What's your name? Oh, look at those hands up there. Oh my God. Well, that's where we gotta go. Now this was the servant's quarters over here. And I believe they said there was 39 people that took care of this estate. And those were some servants. I'm sure that was like some groundskeepers, things like that. Probably even slaves, you know what I mean? Like they didn't, they didn't call this slaves quarters, it was called servants. You know, so there were people that stayed and maintained the property. But these were their rooms. How many bedrooms do you think are in this house? 
Um, I think there was, I think it said that there's 32 wow. or something like that. One thing you may not know too is houses even built in the early 1900s didn't have toilets and bathrooms or even bathtubs. Like people bathed out of like bowls. So, so I mean, this was a, a luxury back in that time. You could see there was an old tub that was under here. Is that a spider? Where? Right there. Oh my gosh. What is that? It's a palmetto bug, <gasps> AKA water bug. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. What is it? Is it real? No! <laughs> no, don't do that. Don't do that. Is it real? <laughs> no, it's fake. Oh my god. It's a fake bug. Oh wait, no, it is real. How did you know it was fake? I don't know, it looked fake. <laughs> did you puke in your mouth? Oh my god. <laughs> hey, don't, don't, don't. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, look, there's like holes in them. Okay, this is old from where plumbing would come through. Don't, I'm watching you. <sighs> Probably to heat the place up. Just stop. <laughs> just don't. Just don't. <laughs> it's even just the thought of it. Just... The haunted cockroach. Yeah, don't even take this home, okay? Because it could be haunted. There could be something that. Yeah. Um. I'm gonna put him, I'm gonna put him right there. Yeah, right there, that looks more believable. From what I hear too, they have a pretty awesome Halloween setup here. They're like haunted houses and things like that. <gasps> <laughs> so that's one of their props for Halloween. There's some really cool ones, not gonna lie. I think she said this was her room, wasn't it? This was where Denise she would sleep in here? Yeah, this was her room or something. That is awesome. Winchester. Winchester? Right there. Oh, the Winchester rifles, yep. So this stairway goes to the kitchen. Oh, a lot of older homes. I had a home like this in upstate New York where I had two staircases. I had a main staircase in the front of the house, and then I had a rear staircase. But this is a three-floor home. No, there's five floors. There's a basement, first floor, second floor, third floor, and an attic. Let's go check out the third floor. Third floor is really creepy too. So this is where he was down. I don't know if you remember the story where he was telling us about this staircase. He said he looked down and he seen somebody walk by. And it made him feel good because he was like, cool, I'm not here by myself. And he went downstairs. And there was, was nobody there. there. And he said he went outside and sat in his car and was like, for like 30 minutes, and was like, do I really want to go back inside? Yeah, hopefully we can catch that same shot. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh, no. There's something up here. Oh. Yo, I heard whispering. I heard whispers. Hello? There's somebody up here? Come on. So here's some of their Halloween props. I swear I just heard something in my ear go, run. Run? I'm not even kidding. What do we have to run from? The local funeral home gave them this as a gift. And if you know what this is, it's not just a coffin, but this was a transport coffin where they would pick up the dead and prepare their body for burial. I don't know if you heard, but this casket has held hundreds if not maybe thousands of bodies they've had it here for a couple of years some say that there's some spirits attached to this casket as well you know they say that back in the day you know 
people weren't as tall as they are today and I believe that because I'm looking in that casket like I would probably barely fit in that casket and I'm just shy of six foot so I mean this is oh, dude there's like scratches in it we should do a spirit box with that casket want to I'm so freaking out by one. Oh my god! Don't do that. <laughs> Don't you do that. Why would you do that? Oh god, what's that over there? What? That. What's what? That. <laughs> That's just a Halloween prop. Don't freak out. I'm Dude. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, check it out. Look, what? over there. That's the top to the casket. Oh, my God. Look over there. You're getting real loud. <laughs> I'm just excited. There's so <laughs> much cool yeah. stuff here. Like, this is amazing. <sighs> Still a scary place, but we're going to go down in the basement. What? Oh, you know where I want to go to? Where? I mean, not alone. The attic. Where the bats were? Yeah. So, I was going up there earlier today, and it looked already kind of scary, and then some bats started hissing at me. And I was like, ah, oh, it's okay. I don't want to catch rabies today. Can you get rabies for bats? Yeah, I mean, you can get corona. Oh. <laughs> Shh. What is that? I don't know. <gasps> what was that? I don't Um, you, uh, go ahead. <laughs> I don't know if I want to be in the front. Well, ladies me. first, you know. Come on, I'm just trying to be respectful. This is so cool over here. There's like rooms everywhere. Shoes next to the bed. Oh, I just seen that. Hey, look at those shoes next to the bed. <laughs> if you have any idea how much it would cost to put a roof on a castle, uh, I mean, I spent a lot of money on my house. My house is like 3,000 square feet. And it was a lot of money. I had to get like 10 different estimates. Was this door open right there? I don't know. How much do you think it would cost to repair the roof here? Uh, like if you had to put a new roof? I have no clue. I would say maybe two or three hundred thousand. That's just a guess. Maybe more. We didn't go over there. Yeah, we did. That's where the um that beautiful like with the rounded window. Oh the, the turret. Yeah, that's the ballroom. Okay. The place is so big. Oh my god, oh my god, yo, yo, I just seen something in that no, window no, no, right no, there. No no no. no, 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 I'm not, no clickbait, no clickbait. I just seen like something in white, like clothed in white. Oh, what was that? Dude, something was just laughing behind you. Who is that laughing? something white in the window and then something behind you started laughing. You heard it too? Do we even want to go in that room? Yes. Maybe this is where the woman was seen weeping from the outside. Why is that door open? That door was not open when we just walked by. Yeah, it was. No, it was not. I, I. You opened it. I saw. So, you think I'm in it? I don't even know what's in there. Oh, 
Oh, oh, oh, oh. What? I don't know, yeah. Oh, what's in here? Oh, I'm closing this. Okay, this is closed. Maybe it's just an animal. Wait, how does this close? Oh my god, this is not closing. What? <sighs> I think we're just freaking ourselves out. That's all we're doing. We're just scaring ourselves. Does that work? No. Maybe it's like bats that are in the wall. I want to know why this was open. I have an idea of why this door opened. Why? I, I've seen this happen before, and especially in old buildings. So sometimes these doors are so tight because of you know the wood, and when you walk on floorboards, it releases it. Babe, we walked up here today. Remember when we walked around? I'm telling you, that probably opened up because we walked on a certain floorboard and it opened it up. Yeah, see, it's really tight. <clears throat> then when it opened, we would have heard it open. What's in here? With it being that way. Cool. It's like a little closet. Hey, look, Ma. It's a spoiler. It's a daddy long leg spoiler. Oh, look, another spoiler. Hey, give me a kiss, give me a kiss. <laughs> is this a little school desk? Stop it. Where? Do you see this little school desk? Oh, it is. Like a little, like a preschool desk. That is adorable. That's so nice. You know, those always seem so much bigger when you're a kid. <laughs> yeah. That's probably the same size as the ones we had. I'm like in first grade. Hey, there's like a balcony out there. How do you get out there? Probably just open the window? Yeah, or maybe it's just for a look. Oh, we almost forgot. <gasps> Hello? Who keeps knocking? Knock again, if you're here. Are you evil spirit? Didn't knock at all. So you're not evil? It's not evil. I said knock once is yes, right? Okay, thank you. Do you want to hurt us? <gasps> I'm just trying to focus on the fact that my sweatshirt is like touching my back. What do you mean? Like. It's touching my back. So something just touched you? It's just holding on my back. Is there a spirit touching Tiffany right now? Knock once for yes. There's nothing touching you right now. Let's see if my shirt is like touching my back. Right there? Yeah. Is it like in on my back? Right, right there. It's like touching my oh, back. Oh, wow. That does look like a handprint right here. Alright. Ladies first. I'm okay. Okay. Well, here. I'm going to shine this up there and see. Okay. Oh, 
What was that? I don't know. What was that? You think there's an animal up there? Maybe. There's no bats up here, though. Earlier, I came up here with my GoPro. Only made it to about right here. Actually, a little lower. And you could hear a bunch of bats going, <laughs> but he said at nighttime, they usually make their way outside to go hunt or whatever. But yeah, there's like a, what was that? I don't know, I'm trying not to look. It sounded like the door was like closing or something. All right, let's go back downstairs. This floor is gonna look safe anyways. I'm not scared if there's ghosts up here. I'm more scared of rabid animals. I think it closes like that. Okay. Look at this cool chair. It has like a, a rotating, I don't know what you would call that. It's almost like a little mini barber's chair. I was like, whoa, another oh, room? Yeah. One thing about a lot of old homes is sometimes they kind of don't make sense. Like the way they're designed. Like, there's so many doors in this one room right here. Yeah, like this goes back out to that room that we were just in too. All right. I think this is like a bathroom. And I believe the original owners only had like two or three children. So I mean, why did they, maybe for the servants? I don't know. Well, this was a bathroom. Are you still over here? Did you hear that whisper? I don't. There was also a knock. We know you're here, it's okay. That's the ballroom? Yeah, that's the ballroom. Did we go in there? Earlier today. Castle to do a paranormal overnight investigation. By the way, you are allowed to sleep here. I wouldn't recommend coming in the winter time to sleep here though, but I mean, you can if you want. Just bring yourself some warm clothes. That's all I have to say. It's not heated. But if you do come, make sure you come with a group that is respectful and is quiet because as silent as you can hear, you know, you can hear everything in here. When there's a lot of people here, it's very loud. I mean, just, it, it can get loud. It's very echoey in here. So, I mean, if, if there's anybody or anything here, you're gonna hear it. There was like a scream. I heard that. Was that from outside? I think so. That's where it sounded like it was coming from. What if it was on the, like the Verdana? The Verdana? Or the crying? Was that a woman crying? Knock once for yes, knock two for no. That was a pretty loud knock. Oh, it knocked again. That one wasn't as loud though. You have something to say? We went in there, yeah, right? Yeah. Dude. Did you just hear like a what? Yeah, I was like, oh, oh. What are you trying to tell us?
Did you see it? That was a whistle? I you whistled? No, I whispered. I didn't whistle. I heard a whistle. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. That was walking. That was walking. That was walking. <laughs> Who whistled? Was that you? I'm starting to freak out. Is that you? No, that wasn't me. It sounded like something maybe dropped in here. Maybe that was, maybe that's what you heard. I don't know, I heard a whistle. It was probably like a drop dropping. If you can see how silent it is, like you can hear so much out here. You'll hear an occasional train every once in a while, but you don't hear any airplanes. You don't hear a lot of city life out here. We're kind of in the middle of, of the mountains. I think the closest city is maybe 15 minutes away and it's, it's a very small city. What was the name of it, Rut Rutland? Oh, close by? Yeah. Yeah, Rutland. Yeah, we're in Proctor is the name of this town. So, yeah, it's very quiet. So, when you come here, be quiet so you can hear things. We're going to walk down and not say a word. <gasps> what the freak was that? <sighs> I don't know. Let's just go down. Okay. No talking. Is that a ghost? Animal? Sounds like something mechanical. I hear it from like back here. Maybe it's rain. Rain? Yeah. It sounds constant. Oh. It's a clock. It's a clock. <laughs> we got spooked by a clock. Yeah. It's a nice clock. Mm -hmm. English wall clock. Look at this fireplace, man. That is so pretty. Didn't they say that they did a flashlight thing where, you know, they communicate with spirits using a flashlight? If there's any spirits that want to communicate with us, turn that light. Oh, <gasps> yo. It, oh, look. <gasps> oh, look. Who's here with us? Oh, wow. Yo, I've, I've never, oh, I've never seen that like in person before. Turn the flashlight off if you're a spirit that's sitting in that chair. Go ahead, turn it off. I've seen you turn it on. We need you to turn it off now. He doesn't want, doesn't want. Oh, 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 o
I've never seen that before, but they say that they do that a lot here. Go ahead, turn it on again if you're here. Use all your power to turn that flashlight on. Look, look. What? Oh, it's wanting to. It's like real dim. You that gave me goosebumps. That's pretty freaking cool. Yeah, it was. <laughs> Yo, there's an indention in this chair, like if there's a spirit sitting in it. Is there an indention in that one too? Oh! There it is. Oh my god. Dude, it's like somebody's sitting there. Move the chair for us. If you're still in here, that is. If you're still here with us, show us something. Give us a sign. Oh, oh, what, oh, what, oh, what, oh. Is that, what is that? Is that the what, music? What is that? Is that music? Yes. And that flashlight's lighting up. Oh, is it? Yes. It just went down. That was lighting up? <sighs> Why is the music playing? Hang on. I swear to you, it wasn't me this time. I promise. No, they say that sometimes that music box does go off on its own. If you're still with us, make that music box go off again. Was it the music box? What? Was it the music That's box? That's what it sounded like when I played earlier. But it wasn't a lot, though. You don't think it was the dinner bells? No, that was the music. <gasps> what was that? Oh, oh, oh. Who's here with us? It was the music box. That was not me this time. Only you were right there I next to me. Right next to you. Make that music box go off again in front of us. Are you Denise's mom? Is it Bunny? Is Bunny here with us? I'm sure Denise would love to hear from you. Is that? Was that like a bathroom at home? Maybe. Like maybe a powder room? So, oh wow, look how pretty the ceiling is. Now this is the room that I was telling you about where really expensive art was stolen from this room. This was the art room. <gasps> what the heck was that? Sometimes you can hear sounds and it's coming from like baseboard heating. There's no heat on. Because there's no heat here. No, I think they did add heat later on, but there's none. There's no gas hookups. That's why it's so cold in here. In the winter time, they completely winterize this house. You know what I just noticed? There's two dining rooms. This one right here. Well, where's the other dining room? Um, over there on the That's other side. That's called the library. Oh, that was the blue Yeah, library. we didn't even go all the way in the library. Did we go in there? That goes, that's the butler's pantry to the kitchen. <gasps> Yo! Whoa! Are you gonna come sit down in here now? I've never seen anything like that with the flashlight. That was insane. I think you still left it on too, didn't you? I don't know. This is a cool place. We gotta definitely come back here again. And I mean, the way those seats were in, in there. I know. Here. Now we went in there before, earlier today, and those seats were just like this. They weren't pulled out. And we didn't touch it. We haven't even been in there yet. Mm -hmm. At nighttime, that is. We came during the day. And we just kind of took a peek. They gave us a tour of 
everywhere and kind of shared some of the history. Now, one thing, every time I've been to a house or a mansion that's similar to this and I've seen, you know, ceilings like that with art, you know, what's the first thing that comes to mind? Wallpaper. This is not wallpaper. Like I mentioned, that's the work of that Italian artist that was brought here and paid seven cents an hour. Seven cents an hour and it took him seven years. Yeah. Oh. Hmm. There's a correlation there. Yeah, he did a great job. And you know what? I don't know if you know this, but seven cents an hour in the 1800s was a lot of money. It was a lot of money. I just went upstairs and I recorded like an exclusive video. Uh, if you didn't know, I do have a membership that, you know, you could join. It's something that I like to give back, you know, to the people that, that help support me and support my channel and support what we do. And I'm very thankful for that. So I like to give back and I do that. Every time I go and investigate a place like this, I'll do like an exclusive video. Only a few hundred people see it, but I went in and recorded a, a, another video and I went upstairs and we smelled something like awful. Now, before we did that though, Tiffany was right out here. I was doing something else and she said that she can hear something upstairs. So she starts playing music because she started getting, sorry, like, what exactly did you hear though? Well, I just heard like a loud, it was like a hollow bang. So I knew that you weren't gonna be back anytime soon because you were like, what were you doing? I don't even know what you were doing. And so I turned on my Spotify that's downloaded and I'll just start playing music so I didn't want to hear it anymore. I was trying to get internet signal. That's what I was trying to do. There's, there's not much. If you visit the Wilson Castle, um, there's the internet signal is kind of spotty up here. I mean, we're in the country. We're in the mountains. You know, it's beautiful. You do have a little bit of internet though. It's just, it's not enough to be doing any Facebook lives or anything like that. or maybe going and watching videos on YouTube, but you could check your email, stuff like that. That's what I was doing. I couldn't even, I can't even do that. You can't check your email? Mm -mm. Oh, wow. Did you show this, that this is her grandfather that bought that place? Oh, that's Herbert? Yeah. Oh, wow. What a handsome feller. But hey, what happened? Like, we went upstairs and we smelled something awful. It was horrible, and it was not there when it we It wasn't there. there earlier, no. It was really it was horrible old, smell. like really horrible. I don't know even how to, it just, I don't know. One as thing, soon as we hit the top of it, like the- It was right there. Right there. Like we turned and it was just like, foul. Yeah, it almost smelled like something dead. Like just, ugh, it's a horror. We both smelled it at the same time. Mm -hmm. We went back into that room too, where we seen that picture. And I was doing, I did the video with my phone and I kind of like shot some video footage of the mirror, you know, where I guess they, seen the woman behind me. So I need to look I need to look at that footage again and see if maybe we caught something. I snapped pictures of it too. You did? Mm -hmm. You haven't looked at it yet? No. Oh, she's scared. But anyways, hey, if you guys visit the Wilson Castle, let them know that Omar and Tiffany sent you. You have to come here and experience this place for yourself. Like I said, don't bring any Ouija boards, don't bring any candles. That's like their top two rules. And of course, be respectful with spirits. That's something that I would definitely recommend if you don't want something following you back home and having some bad luck. When people have gotten things from here, people even stealing things from the property, they end up getting something haunted that follows them back home. So don't be that person. There are cameras set up around here and they will protect whatever spirits. What? That light just came on. No. Uh -uh. Swear. You know how I seen it? Through the thing right there. You see the reflection in the door? Uh-huh, it just came it on just all came by on. itself. I'm really excited to see our footage of what we captured here at the Wilson Castle. I'm gonna leave links down below. If you wanna use the spirit box that I used upstairs, a link is down below as well. I did do some behind the scenes on my vlog channel too. Be sure to check out my vlog channel. I do a lot of travel vlogs on there. Big shout out to my fiance Tiffany for joining me on these adventures. I survived. I can't, I, honestly, I, I don't, I can't imagine being here like all by myself. Like, like, you would. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but anyways, thank you so much for watching. Gotta go for now before we leave. Keep the keys.